Hello! Today I'm going to show you in a step-by-step -step tutorial how to modify in-game text messages in Battlefield Play for Free. First of all, we need to, f need to find the file that we want to modify. So, let's find it. We go to the 32-bit programs, EA Games, Battlefield Play for Free, Mods, Main, and finally Localization. And inside the localization folder you find this particular file strings.csv and it contains everything that's text based in this game. However, before we start any fancy modifying, make sure to make a copy of the file and store it somewhere else. In my case, I have stored it right into the main folder because that's very close to the original location and it's easy for me to set it back. And why do you need to set it back? Because when you have to do an update where you are asked to um, download the new version because your current version is outdated and you have a modified version in the localization folder, the update won't be able to complete and you would have to reinstall the whole game. You have to put back the original file so the update can proceed and you can get the new version. After you have the new version, you can set the modified file back. Okay. Now let's take a look. As you can see, this file is quite a wall of text and it can be a daunting task at first to find the information that you are looking for. So let's take a shortcut by using inbuilt search. Oh, sorry, wrong column. Yeah. The in-game event section contains a big part of the messages that you can modify. Not all of them, and some of them are leftovers from Battlefield Heroes, for example like Airborne Assault. But for example, right below Airborne Assault you find the message for dropping ammo to a teammate and resupplying him. And yeah, if you would like to modify that message, for example with um, ammo supplied, simply type it in, save the file, and next time when you play the game and you perform such action, um, the modified message will lit up. Let's browse to some of the other messages. For example, you have double kill here and headshot. Yeah, yeah. You can see it yourself, I don't have to name all of them. But yeah, there's a second section of um, messages that you can modify that will show up in game. So let's switch to them. Um, the Auto Rules section contains most of the MCOM stuff that you can modify. For example, here you can modify the message that shows up when you arm the MCOM. Or if you disarm the MCOM. That's also the reason why it says local here. Also, you can modify the messages for losing and winning that show up in the Assault game mode where you have to capture flags. And wait, there were some others. Ah, yeah. You can modify the mes message that shows up when someone spawns on your request reinforcement skill. 
and you can change the messages that show up when you spawn on someone else's flare or reinforcement skill. And you can also modify the message that is shown when you kill someone with a grenade that you have thrown back. Yeah, that's actually pretty much already all you need to know about modifying your messages in game. However, another question that was asked is Is it illegal to modify those files? Well, and the official statement is It is not officially condoned by Easy, but it is not also especially forbidden. Or in other words, it is up to you if you want to modify those files and it's also your responsibility if anything happens. And of course I can take a guarantee for you if this is safe, but I can give you my logic at least. This file is a giant wall of text. And what can you do with this file? Well, you can modify the text. And what kind of damage could you possibly do by modifying text? It's not going to help you to um, aim at your opponent better or improve, improve your gaming experience otherwise. Perhaps only for having a more customized individual game. But yeah, there's no damage that you could do by changing this file. So yeah, my opinion is that it is not a risk, there is no risk involved with it and personally I have used modified strings point CSV for over half a year and there was never any problem. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Have fun with customizing your game and enjoy the action on the battlefield.